Hi, today I'm going to talk about this uh, variable AC power supply that I built. I have lots of DC power supplies, but I had some projects where it would have been handy to have something that, that put out AC that was variable that I could set to whatever voltage I wanted, so I built this. Um, it's got a switch here that will uh, switch between these binding posts on the front and some uh, and an outlet on the back. If we switch it to the front, we get a 0 to approximately 30, 30 volt range, so there's the, uh, the lowest going on up, all the way up to uh, 34 volts. And then if I switch it this way, um, the binding posts are now disabled, but we now have a range that goes from zero all the way up to 140 volts. meter's not doing us anything there, and the, uh, the output is coming out this uh, receptacle in the back. So you use that to power up old radios and that sort of thing. So the basic idea is to use something called a variac, also known as an auto transformer. So we'll draw it on here. Looks like a transformer, but instead of having two windings, it only has one. And up on this end, you put in zero volts. This is your line side. That's AC coming in from your house. And then on the other side of the transformer there's a tap which can be moved up and down along the winding. And this gives you still got zero down here and up here we can have anywhere from 0 to 120 volts. So if we move the uh, tap all the way down here to the bottom, we get 0. Move it all the way up to here, we get 120. So that is the basis of our uh, variable power supply. Now I didn't want 0 to 120 volts. I wanted uh, about 0 to 30 volts. So what I did is I took this and I hooked it up to another transformer Let's write that up higher so 0 to 30 volts and then take that and run it out to a set of binding posts. Okay, so that gives us, uh, you know, we can adjust this, we get 0 to 120 volts. The whole 120 volts going into this transformer will give us uh, 30 volts out. If we have less than 120 volts, we will get less than 30 volts out. So this here was a 28 volt transformer. So we still have the basic circuit of the Variac and the 28 volt transformer giving us the, uh, the binding posts for our low voltage power supply. But I also wanted to have a high voltage power supply so we have an outlet up here that will do 0 to 120 volts. So what we did is we just took and we put a switch at the output of the Variac so we could switch the Variac, the variac between the transformer and this outlet. So since this uh, output of the Variac was 0 to 120, we've got an AC receptacle 0 to 120 can use that for uh, powering up old radios and, and stuff like that that needs high voltage. Now the other thing I've done is I added a digital panel meter. It's digital panel meters you can get on eBay very cheaply, so like uh, five bucks or so. Uh, this particular one I had needed a low voltage to actually power the transformer. 
So what I had is I had a, a small 6 volt transformer, actually 12 volt center tap transformer, but I used the uh, 6 volt half of it. So 120 volts from the mains comes into the transformer and puts out 6 volts to run the panel meter. That powers up the panel meter all the time. And then the panel meter has two lines that it senses the voltage on. And I wanted to be able to switch this between here and uh, here. And I didn't have enough poles on my uh, switch to do that, so I added a secondary relay over here. And the relay simply takes these sense lines and it switches them if in from one position where they go to the outlet, the relay switches on, then it switches this over, this over, and then you read from the binding post instead. So that gives us one switch that switches between the two outputs and switches the meter between the two outputs. Hi, here's the case that I'm going to use to build the power supply. I've already cut a bunch of holes in it. The square holes I used my uh, nibbling tool, very handy. Round holes, of course, I used a drill bit. Um, let's see what we've got. The uh, display is going to go there. It's going to be a toggle switch in the back. It's going to be this uh, line entry filter. Decora outlet will mount from behind. Left a spot here for a fuse holder. Binding posts are going to go there. And over here will go the Variac. I've got uh, two transformers that are going to mount inside of it. Let me see if I can figure out where they go. Yeah, the big one goes here. That is a 28 volt transformer. It's going to let me have uh, low voltage out to the binding posts. This little Radio Shack tiny uh, 12 volt transformer is going to go there. And I'm going to use that to run uh, power for the meter. I also have provision here for a relay. It's going to let me switch the output or it will let me switch the uh, meter sense between the 120 volt outlet in the back and the 28 volt um, binding post on the front. As far as projects go, this was a fairly simple one. Back here we can see the, uh, the line input filter. This has a jack on it where you can plug your standard computer style power cord. Above it is a fuse. So, uh, hot comes in, runs to the fuse, goes out to the uh, variac, and comes over this way and hooks up to the relay. Uh, neutral is, uh, most of these white wires are neutral, they're kind of running all over the place. We've got neutral to the power switch on the back, neutral goes into the uh, relay, neutral comes over here and hooks to the uh, variac. Neutral also hooks to this switch. This toggle switch lets us switch between the binding posts on the front and the outlet on the back. The big transformer here is to give me my front panel jacks. This is a 28 volt transformer. So that gives us roughly uh, zero to about 30-ish volts when hooked up to the Variac. The small transformer, this is a little Radio Shack transformer, is uh, 12 volt transformer. I'm using the uh, 6 volt side of it to run over here and power the digital panel meter. Trying to think if there's anything else worthy of discussing. Well, there's this big relay. The relay is used to switch the panel meter between the front panel jacks and the, uh, the plug on the back. So I wanted to be able to display the volts for either one. So when you put the switch in one position, it enables the front panel jacks and connects the meter to those. When you put it in the other position, it enables the plug on the back and connects the meter to that. That lets us dual purpose the meter. Uh, just a little look at the, the back of the Variac. So you can see how it works. You see it's a 
It's an AC transformer. These are all uh, windings going around. And then on the back, there is a wiper connected. And they've exposed the back of all those windings so that you can take and turn this to any spot and it will tap the winding at that spot. So that would be your lowest voltage down there, your highest voltage up here. A little better picture of the back of the Variac. You can see how the, uh, let's see if I can zoom in on that. There's a nice close picture of it. You can see the wiper going around on the back of the Variac transformer. I did put some very thick electrical tape underneath it because I didn't really want these windings rubbing against the case and shorting out. The electrical tape I used was some of this very thick stuff here which is as good as 69 kilovolts and it's 30 mils thick. Made some good padding for that and that's uh, that's it. Thank you for watching my video. Please visit my website at www.smbaker.com for more electronics projects and sand rail stuff. Bye.